friends, this is Honey Samurai and today I'm going on yet another spontaneous vlog. Lately I've been feeling like I should plan out my content more thoroughly and make sure that it's super high quality and something that I'm proud of that people would more likely want to watch. And it's kind of led me down this path of overthinking like every idea that I have up until the fact that I just don't upload anything. I know that I kind of decided to, you know, slow down a little bit um, in order to produce like higher quality stuff. But at the same time, now I think I'm going too far into that direction to the point that I'm just not uploading anything. And I don't really like that. I miss you guys. <laughs> Today I woke up and I suddenly felt like going to Barnes & Noble and taking you guys with me. So that's what we're doing today. I'm basically going to Beverly Grove where there's a bunch of like little shops all bunched together, super cute. And there's a Barnes & Noble there. And I went there with my best friend and her boyfriend when she came to visit a couple weeks ago. And I've been thinking about it since. So I decided I'm gonna go back um, and just kind of treat myself and take you guys with me. Also, it definitely beats just sitting around in the house overthinking every aspect of my life. So there's that. I was originally gonna get ready along with you guys to make this sort of like a get ready with me kind of aspect in the beginning as well, but I got so sidetracked struggling with making this wig presentable that I just ended up throwing everything on in the end once this was finally handled. So basically the only thing that's left is my makeup and I will do that along with you guys. I'm not sure what makeup I'm going to do. I might just YouTube something real quick and use what I have available, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick shout out to my girl Sham Hay because I have been obsessed with all of her makeup videos ever since that Olzang video that I did a while back. I've been so obsessed. Basically, I've been just like watching all of her makeup for like the longest now. So I'm basically just going straight to her channel to find like a video of like maybe a vibe that looks similar to what I'm wearing today. And I'm just gonna experiment with it. All right, it looks like I'm gonna do her spring look outfits video. I'm excited. I love that she always includes the fact that she moisturizes her face. Like, that's just like amazing. That's just black women energy, you know what I mean? Like, don't forget to moisturize, okay? Um, I already did that part plus sunscreen, so now I'm going in with my foundation. Using whatever clips I have to safely secure. Well, how awkward would it be if I got like my super dark foundation onto this? Okay, that's not enough. You guys have no idea how long I took on this wig. Oh my goodness. This is just gonna fall in any second, I can feel it. I need to get myself a mirror. This camera is my mirror right now. <laughs> this is exactly what I was afraid of, ah! I should have done this first. It's okay, it's okay. I'll fix it later. All right, next up is my, uh, not my foundation, but my concealer. Uh, you guys will not believe I put concealer instead of my foundation all over my face. I'm getting hungry, maybe it's that. Maybe I'm not that stupid and I'm just like hungry and tired. I think it looks fine. I guess I'm just not gonna wear concealer because that's the lightest shade I have. How did I not notice? They're both technically foundations, so that's how that happened. Ah, well. All right, on to the eyebrows. I already like this side better. I chose this because she uses like golden colors. Um, it looks like she starts out here and then goes down here. So that's what I'm gonna do too. Uh, this side is a little funky. 
gonna have to, this side looks kind of cool. It looks like a little, just like a little golden halo. And then here it's like, I drew crayon here. All right, give me a second while I fix this. All right, more gold. Ooh, girl. I am loving this. It looks like she puts a little bit of white underneath and I'm kind of feeling that today. So I think I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna use my NYX white crayon, the trusty one. Ooh, I'll use this little brush right here. She's adding like a little dark um, line underneath in order to accentuate it, but I'm not gonna do that because my eyes are already big with a lot of dark circles underneath. So I do not like the way it looks on me, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I'm gonna just practice off camera. <laughs> Ooh, but I am gonna add highlight to it. That is fun. All right, I did my best. Looks a little yellow on camera. It looks better in person. I'll try to blend it. I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. It's fine. Ooh, so she only does like a quick line in the corners um, for eyeliner, which is pretty cool. That's something new. Let's see how that goes. I think I'm gonna do this offline, off camera, because I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> okay, this is so weird to me because it's literally just like a line. Mascara, my favorite part, because it's easy. And it also means I'm almost done. I really want to get more into makeup lately, like alt makeup. I know I've done it a little bit in a couple of previous videos, but I really want to like go deeper into it. I mean, it's been a mix of me overthinking and me just being so busy that has prevented me from already uploading more videos about it. But trust me, they're coming. Like Gyaru makeup is so cool. But like just like the way that they do their eyes I really like so she literally like applies orange to her cheeks I'm going to do that with my eyeshadow because that's that it's that color it's more orangey yeah I'll try it out let's see let's try to be a sunset today which by the way I should really hurry up so that I get out here before sunset <laughs> oh my god I just can't be ready before five. Oh, I love this holy shit she's a genius Instead of like the usual highlight, it's like way more golden. I mean, who said you can't use eyeshadow on your cheeks? I think that's what she's doing in the video too. I think it's eyeshadow. Ah, I love getting cute. I wanna go out already. Oh my God, I need to hurry up. Okay, so she fully has like an orange lipstick. Honestly, I'm not even wearing orange, so it's like not really that necessary, but let's see what I can wear. I think I'm gonna keep it super simple and wear and wear this milk lipstick that I always wear when I want to keep it simple. A little more pink than I would like, but I think it's the best I have to work with so far, so not too bad. My lip gloss is popping, my lip gloss is cool. All of us keep stopping, they chase me after school. My lip, my lip, my lip gloss. Damn, do I remember the step to that? I'm not gonna embarrass myself. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, I also have to clean that up. Ugh. The struggles of being a goddess. All right, let me fix that up real quick. All right, some things just can never be fixed. It refuses to come out. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Just got off the bus 
and we are finally approaching. Woo! My goodness, I had to run to catch this bus, this motherfucking bus. Because in LA, if you miss it, you're gonna wait another hour for that shit. Well, let me show you around. It's so cute in here, I love it here. It's just, there's there's never a time when it's not packed because this is like a tourist attraction. And if you look closer, there's Barnes and Noble. I'm coming for you, sweetie. I don't know if I should just go straight to it or show you guys around the Grove. I mean, it's kind of a waste, I guess, to not show you um, how pretty it is. But basically, it does have shops, really. go to umami burger right after this um because they have the best impossible burgers you can imagine 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 I just wanted to show you guys around for a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up in these Barnes and Nobles especially the one on my block in New York and you know it's so funny because I always felt like I was the only one hanging around in these Barnes and Noble growing up but now like it's like a meme like everybody says that they used to do that as a kid and I'm like where were y'all that were living the life exactly like me where were y'all I was lonely as fuck as a kid and looking for Alaska, 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 like all the John Green stuff. That was a moment. This is such heaven for me, oh my God. Psycho. I watched this, but I did not read it. I would like to read it. I hear Academia, which I never finished watching. <laughs> I'm just exposing myself today. I also loved Noragami as a kid. Because I know I did. I hear it's, it's getting a lot of shit lately. I wasn't really that great in anime. I think it was amazing, and I stand by that. Since when does One Punch Man look like this? I'm a little confused. Who is this? 
Okay. I recognize Saikon. Okay. Who's this guy? I don't remember him. This is literally like the opening of Gintama. If you know, you know. Orange is actually on my list. Orange seems like a great anime. Um, and also a great manga now. Skip right past me on High School Host Club. Look at Parasite. Look at this. I also never read this, I watched it. Wow, that's trippy. This is not how I would have expected it. I keep hearing about this one, Rent a Girlfriend. It sounds kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Not really my thing, but hey, maybe I'll give it a chance. Damn, I've been wanting to watch this for years and I keep forgetting it exists. I don't know about you guys, but I need to read manga physically, like I need the physical book. And that's all I used to do as a kid, but as soon as I moved away from my local library, I just, I kind of stopped reading manga because I couldn't borrow them and it's not like I can just buy a million volumes of manga because A, money, B, space. Because it's not really my type of um, thing, but this cover is hella cute. Like, really cute. Oh, it sells at work. I love the sound. The manga that started it all. Actually, it's a different one that started it all, but this one accelerated it all. Oh, yeah? Very much so. I mean, just look how cool their covers are. I mean, this isn't even the tip of it. I think of is the TikToks now. I see this girl. Vampire Night, which I remember nothing of because I watched it all in one sitting when I was like 12. I actually wrote this. It was pretty good. Oh, this is on my list, but I want to read it. I don't want to commit to buying it right away. Let's see if I can borrow it. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> I'm lame. <laughs> this looks kind of cool. JoJo's, of course, which I keep struggling to finish watching. I never finished this either. I'm terrible. I have very low um, patience when it comes to starting new shows, um, clearly. But I'm gonna get some Starbucks 
the fall drinks are here and I haven't tried them yet so what better time to try the first fall drink of the year than here at the Barnes & Noble Starbucks. I'm gonna get a pumpkin spice latte, but with two pumps of chai. I have to have the chai mixed with it, or to me it tastes like ass because all I taste is the coffee. Um, I can't have chai by itself, I can have pumpkin spice by itself. I mean, maybe mixed. I, I recommend it, I really do. Maybe a pump of vanilla if you're feeling extra crazy. definitely too hot to have a hot pumpkin spice drink but I can't stand it cold so here I am being stubborn it's like not that hot today it's like a little cool I just realized I gotta charge my phone Has coffee. I'm not sleeping tonight. actually get a book. I know I definitely love YA and I always will and I also love fantasy so I should be in the right corner. I would get a manga or a manga series but I feel like it's hard for me to commit to buying unless I really 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 love it or I know I will really really love it because then it's like paying for like like a one hour read max i don't know i also wanted to sit and read here but it's already getting late took a full photo shoot by myself and it was so embarrassing <laughs> but on the press side those videos came out bomb so yeah check out my instagram for it yeah yeah i'm one of those bitches yeah i want to go to like the teen teen section because this was kind of a teen section but not really let's see if there's a bigger section i've been in just this one corner this whole time <laughs> Finally found the young adult section. Now we're talking. I don't think I'll ever get too old for this stuff. That's for sure. Knock on wood. You make me happy. I'm sorry, but if I see a book with emojis on it, I'm gonna immediately turn it off.
Yes. Yes. One of these. All right, I feel like I'm gonna be here all night trying to choose a book, so I think I'm gonna leave it here so that I can actually go eat dinner and get home at a reasonable time. So, walks away, walks away. <laughs> if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, love you guys, and till next time. This was fun, this was really fun. Let me know if you guys liked us. <laughs>